I'm going to work this thing out. I have absolutely no idea how to do this. Can you see me? <laughs> so how is, how is everyone feeling tonight? Good? Yeah, unfortunately I'm not feeling that good. Uh, my vagina's all dried up. <laughs> retired, closed up for business. But you know what the really good thing with all endings is? New beginnings, new openings. And my butts open up for business and my boyfriend couldn't be happier. <laughs> His favourite saying used to be, happy wife, happy life. His latest saying is, any hole's a goal. <laughs> you know that one, don't you? <laughs> so uh, I guess I should introduce myself. Uh, my name is Claire, uh, C-L-A-R-E, no I. Uh, but when my mum popped me out of her clacker, uh, she wanted to call me Zoe. And my Irish dad, he thought that Zoe sounded a bit like a dog's name. Here's Zoe, 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 Zoe. Here's Zoe, 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 Zoe. So uh, dad didn't want to, like, do me doggy style. So I said, thanks, dad. Um, but they did have to find another name for me. So they had a plan in place. So they went into separate rooms. They got a notebook and pen and they wrote down all their favourite girls' names and they came back together and they had a match. Claire. But my dad, he'd spelled it the Irish way, C-L-A-R-E. And my mum, she'd spelled it the Pommy way, C-L-A-I-R-E. So my mum turned to my dad and asked, darling, Claire with or without an I? And my dad turned to baby Claire and bang, punched me in the face. And that's why I am Claire without an I. <laughs> But uh, anyway, I do love my family. And you know what I really love about family is family dinners. Like, do you like family dinners? Um, like roast and, you know, that real sense of belonging when you're sitting at the table, someone's coming through. Woo! Something about a watch. <laughs> So yeah, I'm at that family dinner, cracking the dad jokes. And uh, so yeah, there's, so there's the roast dinner, there's the real sense of belonging that you get at the dinner table, and there's that impulse every 10 minutes to go to the bathroom to check your Facebook. And uh, you know what I also really love is extended families. I mean, you know, I really care about my extended family. You know, we catch up at funerals, try to remember each other's names. But uh, yeah, so that one didn't really land. But anyway, moving on. Um, so uh, as you can probably tell, uh, I was a little tormented as a child. So uh, when I popped out some kids, I really wanted to make sure that they had a loving, supportive environment. And I remember this one weekend, oh, it was really, really hot, scorching heat. And I took my three and five year old to my favourite place in the world. Games, coloured lights, the sound of coins. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, I won the jackpot. Oh, shit. Did I remember to unwind the car window? <laughs> Unfortunately, little Susie didn't make it home. Yeah, but anyway. I love YouTube, but um, <laughs> at the moment I have a fetish with red tube. So they say that YouTube's for cats and that red tube's for pussy. Uh, so if you don't really get what I mean, so uh, red tube is YouTube but with more interesting content. So uh, for example, uh, last week I saw a really good film. Actually, sir, you might know it, uh, Two Weddings and a Dildo. Yeah. And uh, the other week, uh, oh, that's right, I saw a classic, Titanic, Hurry Up and Die. <laughs> 
But uh, yesterday, oh, I saw the most amazing film with my kid, uh, the one that's still alive. Um, we watched Harry Potter and the Magical Vagina. And no, 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 seriously, I am so proud. I am so proud of this country that we are making content for our kids, for our kids of the future. We are teaching them how to operate the things that matter the most, how to pat the pussy. I mean, no, like, seriously, what was with our education? Like, what was with our schools? Like, I didn't do, want to do my year eight history assignment, so... I said to my mum, I was attacked yesterday. So uh, yeah, instead of doing my essay on Hitler, mum took me to the cop shop and I got my own Jewish education, a fingering up my gas chamber. <laughs> so uh, yeah, anyway, um, moving on. Uh, so I didn't get a great education at school, but... I got a really great education traveling. So uh, a couple of years ago, I was in India. I was cheerleading for the cricket and I loved their spicy food. Vindaloo was my favorite. The cricketers weren't the only ones to get the runs. <laughs> Let's just say that this cheerleader's cartwheel looked less like a cartwheel and more like a sprinkler. <laughs> So, uh, yes, thank you. You've been a great audience. This actually has been my very first stand-up comedy gig. Can you believe it? Thank you very much. <laughs> to be honest, I think it might be my last. Again, another watch moment. <laughs> if it is my last, the last time I get to say watch. <laughs> Did you get the one, Richard? But uh, yeah, I'm thinking that this might be my last gig because I don't really feel like I fit into comedy culture. I mean, I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't take drugs. And to be honest, you know, being up on this stage, it's raw, like my asshole. Thank you and good night.